When you develop a relationship, you begin to understand what the definition of sales is. The definition of sales is really pretty simple. It's helping others see and achieve what they didn't think was possible. Stand up, stand up, because we're going to do something here in just a second. I want you yelling at the top of your lungs. Here, are you ready? Red, two, three. The more you make it a lifestyle, the easier sales becomes. Did you know what happens? You communicate differently with people. And you know what you find? Trust is currency. Trust is the currency of business. Think about your sales. Think about your best sales out there. They all happen because you have a level of trust. What I really loved about Mark's talk was how much he simplifies sales. It's very simple. As human beings, our brains like to complicate things and we like to make it more difficult than it has to be. And Mark really breaks it down uh, to the simplest form. And I love how he focuses on the mindset of sales as much as it is the action of sales. So it was a really incredible talk and I really enjoyed it. Mark Hunter made a very strong impression on me when I walked into my first outbound conference and he shook my hand like I was an old friend. He's a total asset to the sales profession. His book of mind for sales is a must read for everybody. You have not lived as you have seen Mark Hunter live on stage in your face delivering pearls of wisdom that will knock your socks off, change your game and drive your sales game to the next but what I find so interesting is too many salespeople work so hard to land a new customer and they don't come back and nurture the growth. Nurture the growth. Yeah. Don't sell the product, sell the outcome. I get a call, not from my boss, but from my boss's boss, and he brings me into his office and sits me down, and I think I'm getting fired. I'm positive I'm getting fired. He sits me down and he says, Mark, why are you in sales? I wanted to say the company car. <sighs> That probably wasn't going to be a good answer. He starts grilling me with questions. He starts grilling me with more and more questions. And I, I'm sorry, but I couldn't answer the questions. Well, let's put it this way. The answers I wanted to give wasn't the ones he was looking for. You see, here was the deal. I believe sales was, you're a customer. I'm going to take your money and run real quick. That was my motto for sales. You see, it doesn't work too well. He tried to explain to me that the why in sales is to be able to create a relationship with customers. You see, what I learned right there is that transactional is out. And think about it today, transactional selling's out. If, 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 you are, if you are a transactional salesperson, the internet's gonna replace you. Even by the time you get back to work, the internet's gonna replace you. Yeah, see transactional. See, what my boss was telling me, he says it's all about, it's all about the relationships. Because you have to be able to create the next level with each customer. And what he began to share with me was a comment, and I'm going to pound this home. Don't sell the product. Sell the outcome. Write that down. Don't sell the product. Sell the outcome. Every conversation I have, I have one objective. My objective is to earn the right, the privilege, honor, respect to be able to meet with that person again. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? See, when I began to shift my focus as to what sales was all about into just that, it's amazing how it changed my results. It's amazing. Suddenly, doors began to open up. Suddenly, relationships became meaningful. Yeah. And when you think about what you get to do every day, you get to influence and impact people. That's powerful. You see, sales leadership is about helping others see and achieve what they didn't think was possible. That's, you know what? That's what we're in. We're in the, sa we're in the sales leadership business. Turn to the person next to you and go, we're in the sales leadership business. Did you know that? Did you know that? Yeah, we are. 
That's cool. That's awesome. Now, let me give you, let, let me give you two pictures of what this is. First picture, General Dwight D. Eisenhower later became president of the United States. Now, General Dwight D. Eisenhower had the privilege, yeah, ph phenomenal, had the privilege of leading the Allied troops for the Battle of Normandy. And I don't know if any of you have ever stood on that beach, not looking out into the water, but stand with your feet just on the edge of the water looking at the bluffs. And you see what those young men went through. The night before the Battle of Normandy, every troop received a letter from General Dwight D. Eisenhower. It was a frank, upfront letter. And it talked about the commitment they were about to make. Was he selling or was he leading? He was doing both. At the same time, there was another gentleman, Winston Churchill, Sir Winston Churchill, Prime Minister, England. He's taken to the radio airwaves, trying to tell the residents of London, despite the bombing, we will see our greatest days. Was he selling or was he leading? You see, sales leadership is just that. Sales leadership is about helping people prospect. Whoa, 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 whoa. hold it, hold it, hold it. Tie these together. You see, many times people don't know what they need to know. It's up to us to tell them. See, when we prospect, we help people begin this journey. This is why I fundamentally believe what we do is so critical. Because what we do is we help people begin that journey. Sales is leadership. Leadership is sales. You see, there's something very interesting about sales. You know what that is? Sales leadership is about helping others see and achieve what they did not think was possible. I want you to chew on that for a moment. Sales leadership is about helping others see and achieve what they didn't think was possible. When you sit down with a family, you sit down with a couple, you sit down with an individual, what are you doing? You're sharing with them ideas. And I want this to be at the forefront of everything you do. I want you to do this one very simple thing. It's about helping them see and achieve what they didn't think was possible. When we do that, now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to take into context of what was, you've heard here today. We've had million-dollar producers on the platform here sharing with you ideas. And I want all of you to set as your goal, when will you be an All-American? When will you be Hall of Fame? When will you be MDRT? I don't want anybody leaving this room without having that as your goal and that with a plan to do it. And how you get that? is by helping others see and achieve what they didn't think was possible. Now stop and think about this for a moment. A great salesperson, th th that's clearly what a great salesperson is doing. And a great leader, that's what a great leader is doing. You see, in our job, we're not salespeople. We're leaders. We're leading our clients. I want to go as deep as I possibly can with people. Because when I go as deep as I possibly can, it's amazing what happens. Yeah. See, what happens is we create more confidence. What do we do? We create more opportunity. We create more profit. I want you to have everybody you're associated with to have an unrivaled number of opportunities and an unrivaled level of success. And when you do that, pat yourself on the back because you will help them do that. Yeah. You see, here's something that I want you to take a step back on. Let's talk about micro-commitments. What's a micro-commitment? So you may have somebody that you've been sending some send-out cards to, and we'll say that this is your business. We'll, we'll say this is Tommy. We'll say, okay, let's use Tommy. He's got, he's got the garage door business. He's got a terrific telemarketing group and, and, and so forth, but he's doing these cards. and, and, and uh, just, mm, mm, mm. What I want to do, I just want to get a micro-commitment. I want to get a micro-commitment. The micro-commitment might be, hey, you call me tomorrow at 10 o'clock? Would you take a look at this? Can we connect for coffee? Can we do something? If you're in a business, it might be, can I come by for a sales call tomorrow at 10 o'clock? I'm going to email you this. Take a look at it and let me know what you think. See, here's what it comes down to. 
don't start what you can't finish. Because this is what happens. People come up with this great process. I'm going to come up with this great process. This is so cool, so neat, so wow. And then they come over here. Or it's the salesperson who, who has no pipeline, right? That salesperson who has no pipeline. You know, they're like, oh, I, 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 I don't know. And, and they start hyperventilating. And one morning, they wake up at 3 a.m. in the morning, and they say, I'm going to fill my pipeline. I'm going to send out 1,000 emails. I'm going to make 1,000 phone calls. I'm going to pitch, pitch, pitch. I'm even going to pitch my dog. How can they follow up on that? How can they follow up? I work with organizations, and I ask them, say, show me your trend line of sales. And, and, and I will see peaks and valleys, peaks and valleys. And you know what it is? It's because the sales organization is built here. They're, they're, they're doing nothing but prospecting. We're really focused on prospecting. And then they get manna from heaven. Boom! Some business falls in their lap. And then what do they do? They stop prospecting. We got business. We got business. We got business. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. And then what happens is that business goes away. And then they, ah. See, consistency. The biggest single difference between average salespeople and great salespeople is discipline. Discipline. The other piece that comes up is, hey, your reputation arrives before you do. Let me tell you something. Nobody does business with anybody without first going to this thing called Google. And what does that do? That tends to pull up their LinkedIn profile. Great. Pulls up LinkedIn profile. Super. And what happens is, wow, this is what they do. So people come to me and say, I can, I can, I can solve this. I can solve my social media profile. I'm going to spend all day on social media. I'm going to get all this. Well, let me tell you something. You can't take clicks and likes to the bank. You can't take clicks. I, I don't know where, I, I, I'm not sure where you bank. But where I bank, they only take money. That's it. They don't take anything else. Clicks and likes don't work. But I see too many people, and what they do is they do click and pitch. Click and pitch. You know what click and pitch is. I hope none of you in this room or watching online are guilty of this, but you connect with somebody and then you start pitching them. Uh, excuse me, but what happened to the word social? Hello? We're on a mission to change the trajectory of sales. I remember sitting in a room one time with Jeb and we were talking about sales, we were talking about matching it up with other professions. And he says, you know, how come sales can't be regarded as high, highly as medicine or legal or tech research, bio research? That's the mission we're on. And we'll get there when we are no longer seeing sales as a job, when we're no longer seeing it as a profession, when we're no longer seeing it as a lifestyle, but when we see sales for what it is. Your objective? is to influence and impact people every day. That's why I'm standing right here, because my goal is to influence and impact you. Think about people who you have that impact with. They're out there. You're talking to them every day. See, every day your objective is to practice the C plus C equals C equals O equals P. I believe sales is the greatest profession in the world. Send out cards is absolutely amazing. You know why I believe in send out cards? Here's why. It's the impact. Send out cards is just the medium. It's just, it's just the medium we've chosen. But it's the impact that we make on people. And when we have the ability to make a significant impact on people, isn't that exciting to wake up in the morning? That is exciting. That is exciting. You see, sales leadership is about helping others see and achieve what they did not think was possible. Your objective here this weekend is to determine what is it that you're going to do to make the next step forward. What is the one piece? Who are the people you're going to do it with? And what's your plan? The greatest opportunities you'll ever have lie ahead of you. They're not behind you. I'm Mark Hunter, the Sales Hunter. Thank you very much.